This is customer facing video number six for the electromechanical demonstration. In this demonstration we're going to uh, talk about PCB to 3D uh, inside of Solid Edge. Solid Edge has uh, the capability of working with a product called PCB to 3D. PCB to 3D will allow the user to create any kind of circuit board design uh, so that those circuit boards can be placed uh, within the context of an assembly inside a solid edge. So a couple things we need to do is, is I'm now in PCB to 3D and I'm using the PCB to 3D wizard and so I'm just going to go through here and start specifying some of the information that PCB to 3D is needing. Uh, so basically we've, we've told it you know we want to create a board uh, basically this is going to be the actual board information itself uh, these are going to be some different components, you know, common type components that we're going to have inside of our uh, PCB board. Uh, wants to know what kind of libraries to look for for other components, so we want to go in and, and specify a, a library directory. Uh, this area here is, is going to tell the user if they have any components that have a zero height, so this is looking at all heights to make sure, you know, that we fall in, inside of some kind of specific uh, time frame or, or, or height requirements inside of our assembly. Uh, you know what what do you want to actually call this particular assembly? Where do you want to save it? So I'm going to save it into my my working directory, and then we'll just give this thing a name called PCB, and we'll go finish on it. And then what's happening now is. PCB to 3D is actually going out, creating the components, creating the board, going to create the assembly, and and fully assemble uh, this PCB board. So, quick and easily, you know, we've went out, we've created a totally new assembly called PCB assembly. Here's all the different components. Uh, this is what our PCB board is looking for. And all this information can come from your, your ECAD system uh, or, or whatever the case may be. So now what we need to do is let's go and let's open up our assembly that we want to, to place this PCB board inside of. And because of you've already seen all the different things that we can do with configurations, uh, here, here's a unique situation to where you know we've built all these different display configurations and we can explicitly say hey I want to start out I want to open up you know a certain uh, display configuration and so what that'll do is that'll open up that PCB to 3D uh, configuration that we've saved and what we want to do is we just want to assemble that PCB board you know in this area here so one of the tools we have in our parts library is we have the capability of saying hey show me any kind of open documents that I have inside of Solid Edge. So here's our PCB uh, assembly itself. So I'm just going to drag and drop. And then what we want to do is we want to assemble the bottom of the PCB board uh, to the top face of this mounting lug. So I'm just going to activate the mounting lug, specify that top face, and then that's going to, to give me my PCB board uh, on that particular area. Uh, next we want to line up this cylindrical face to this cylinder and then if we rotate our board around a little bit you know get it kind of in the alignment that we're looking for uh, last mating condition that we need to apply we're going to mate this face to this flat face on on this particular mounting lug and then you'll notice that we have our PCB board assembled so you've seen how Solid Edge gives you the tools to work with wires and wiring harnesses uh, we also have a third-party application called PCB to 3D uh, that will work with any kind of PCB data uh, that you need to, to complete out your, your electrical assemblies. So with that, that concludes uh, video number six, customer facing of the electromechanical demonstration.